Hi, in this video we're going to be discussing how to view and change the Smart App Control setting in Windows. So this is used to block any programs that might be malicious or are unsigned, uh, so that way you don't cause harm to your computer. So for some people, you will find that it's enabled, and some people it will be turned off. So that is determined by uh, what you did on your computer. So if you have upgraded from Windows 10, then it's going to turn it off. If you do a clean installation, it'll put it in evaluation mode, and then it will decide if it's going to turn it on or off uh, based on your behavior. So if you're opening a bunch of unsigned apps, then it's probably going to end up turning it on for your protection. And if you're not doing that, then it's probably going to turn it off. So to check, we could go to the search box and type in Smart App Control. So it's in the Windows Security Center. So if it doesn't take you here, you'll find it under App and Browser Control, and then Smart App Control Settings. All right, so you can see here it's off on this computer. So here's the evaluation mode. So this will be enabled on a clean installation until it decides how it's going to apply the setting for you. And I think how long it stays in evaluation mode depends on what you're doing, so maybe a week or so. And while it's in evaluation mode, you could come here and pick on or off. All right, so if it is off, then you're probably okay unless maybe you have somebody on your computer who's trying to open some unsigned applications and you want to turn it on to prevent that. Or if it's on, you might want to turn it off because there are going to be some apps that you're not going to be able to run. So to do so, unfortunately, you're either going to have to do a clean installation of Windows or do the Windows recovery. But to do the Windows Recovery, you could keep your files, but it's not going to keep your app. So let's go to the settings here, and I'll show you. So if we go to System, Recovery, if you use this option where it keeps your apps and files, it'll reinstall Windows, but it's not going to change the status of Smart App Control. But if you do this option here, you will be able to keep your files, just not your apps. And then you will be able to change this. Or if you do a complete clean installation, you'll be able to change it. So for this example, we're just going to do the reset this PC option here. And then we'll see how we could change it after that. So even if you do this option where it's going to keep your files, make sure you do a backup first just in case something goes wrong. All right, so I'll click on reset this PC. All right, so we're going to choose the option to keep my files. And then you can pick the cloud download or local reinstall. So the cloud download is mainly used to download some new installation files from Microsoft rather than use the files on your computer. But since there's nothing wrong with this computer, I'm just going to go with local and plus it's going to save some time. All right, so it's going to reinstall Windows from this device. We could change the settings if we need to. So I'll click on next. All right, then you may or may not see this message. So this computer was recently updated. And if you continue with the reset, you won't be able to undo the update, so that's fine. And it says this won't take long, but of course it will take a long time. All right, so after a few minutes, we're finally at the next step here. So ready to reset this PC, change settings back, keep personal files, reinstall Windows, remove all apps. Then you can see which ones will be removed. And then it should also give you an HTML file showing you what it removed afterwards, so we'll check that out if it's available. All right, so click on Reset to start the process. All right, so this is going to take a little while, so I will pause the video and be back when it's done. All right, so now we're rebooting. All right, so now we're going through the reset process here, so this will take a little while as well. All right, so now we're rebooting again. All right, going through another part of the installation, so I'll we'll pause for this as well. All right, rebooting once again. All right, so we're at our login screen here. We still have our user account, so that's good. All right, so now it's going to have to do this setup here as if it were a new profile, even though it's technically not a new profile, but that's just how it works when you do this reset. So we'll pause once again and be back when it's done. Alright, so we're back on our desktop. You can see we have this HTML file with our removed apps. Of course, we're going to have to get through all this nonsense. 
right? So you can see a removed Acrobat Chrome, uh, OneDrive, which is fine, and a couple other miscellaneous apps there. All right, so now let's go back to Smart App Control. All right, so now you can see it's in evaluation mode, and we can turn it on. And you can see that grays out evaluation mode. So you probably don't want to use evaluation mode because you probably want to decide for yourself. But now that it's on, we can click on off. And if you say, yes, I'm sure, it's going to be stuck on off, and you won't be able to switch it back to on. So make sure uh, you are sure before you turn it off. Because you can turn it on, that'll just gray out the evaluation mode. But if you turn it off and say yes, I'm sure, then it's going to be stuck on off and you're not going to be able to change it. So, for example, if you want to turn it off, we'll say yes, I'm sure. Say yes to the UAC prompt. And now you can see it's off and we can't turn it on and can't go back into evaluation mode. All right, so that is your option if you want to change the Smart App Control setting. So, it is a lot of work. But like I said, if you have it on and it's blocking a bunch of apps and you can't get your work done, then you're not going to have any other choice except to either do a clean installation or do the uh, reset here. So at least if you do the reset, you'll be able to keep your files. You'll just have to reinstall your applications. So once again, that was under your settings here. System. And recovery. And then reset this PC, not this one here, it's this one here. And then you'll have to go through the whole process, which is probably going to be at least an hour or so. And then just reinstall all your apps afterwards, and then make sure you come into here and uh, check the setting uh, right away, because if you leave it in evaluation mode, you're not going to know which one it's going to pick when it makes its decision for you. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.